Hello, Keith here. Welcome to Men Games channel with, of course, Keith. And today we're playing Panzer Blitz, situation number nine, Stalino, I think it's called. Now, this is another one of those scenarios where one of the sides has to punch a hole through a defensive line. In this case, it's the Russians trying to punch through the German line. Now, I looked at the Wargaming Guide to Panzer Blitz, and they had a very specific way they set this up. They basically put three blocks here, three mines here, and then they had a bunch of other stuff here. What I did, and they said, because I had to make it difficult for the other units to go over the, you know, the main hill. Made it possible. I cut off this whole right side of the board pretty much. So over here, I got all these, the entire front is blocked all right and then they can't go around the side because the side is blocked so you have a steady line that goes from the left side of hill 132 all the way across here they can't go through these forests the vehicles can't and then you have all these blocks right and you can't go through this hex can't go through the mines can't go here so it's a solid wall right here that they're not going to be able to go through and even if they go on these blocks, I have some pretty powerful weapons over here. All right. And over here, connecting out to the left, I have this 15 attack factor mortar, right, which connect, and I have these infantry over here. So I have a pretty solid defense. I left this little hole to the south. Right here, Hill 129, I think this is south. Let's take a look at the, uh, yeah, no, the north. So so the, there is a little hole in the north, all right? And that's where my Russians where my Russians are going to try and break through because it's going to be impossible. That hole to the left is probably the only hole in the defense where the Russians have a chance of getting through. And a lot of it's going to see, we'll have to see how fast the Germans can react and block that off. Now uh, this is, the thing with the uh, Russians is, they're vulnerable, they don't have a lot of time. This is only a 10 term game, they don't have much armor, they don't have a whole ton of half tracks, they have a whole bunch of trucks though, and those trucks when they're moving can be vulnerable. Okay, well, let's see, one more. The, so it's going to be half track, guard unit, armored unit, guard unit, and then the, you're going to have the second is going to be the half track, the guard unit, the howitzer, 40 power howitzer, then the engineers, and then more guard units and some machine gun, then more armor, howitzer, and engineers. So I got an interesting combination there. And if you go over to the, if you look over to the right, Let's see if you can look over to the right, actually. All right, I'm up to, I'll pull back a little bit so you can see. But if you were to look over to the right, you would see that I have, here's my armor right here. Right? And I have the guards riding on the armor, armor truck, armor truck, armor guards truck, armor guards uh, truck. So that's what I have over here. So my whole plan for the Russians is just to go through the far north side of the map board. I want to try this out. It'd be very, so it's, it's almost a wash all the way up from XK of board two south. It's almost impossible to break through. It's very, very difficult to break. Because even if you look at the far south over here, you see there's a mine there at the very end. And this woods, vehicles can't get through. And then you have a rifle just in case. And then you have this unit right here, which is a howitzer, which can cover that area. So, and the thing is, it's it's like Wargaming's Guide to Panzer Blitz says the whole thing is to slow down. You know, the Germans, you just want to slow down. You want to get dispersals. Actually, read. Excuse me. And what that said is. The Germans are satisfied just to get delays, dispersals, because the Russians are under a big 
a time factor here. So I'm going to start and I'm going to read, I'll read the, the conditions. It's a Russian mobile assault on German blocking force. Russian drive on Stalino, 19843. When Russian forces had penetrated the German front, it was often necessary to use an infantry blocking force to prevent other infantry units from being trapped. The victory conditions, well, the Russians have to get units. They start in the west and they have, no, they start in the east and then from board three, they have to cross three, two, one and leave one. Otherwise the units are considered eliminated. So the Russians have to move across the board. The Germans, meanwhile, have to destroy Russian units. They have to destroy 10 Russian units for a marginal, 20 for a tactical, and 40 for a decisive victory. The Germans, mean, the Russians, meanwhile, while they're crossing the boards, they still have to destroy Russian units to get uh, German units to win. 10 German units to get marginal, 20 German units to get tactical, and 25 units to get a decisive Russian victory. So Russians have to get from board three off of board one. They have to enter board three, go three, two, one, get off board one. Otherwise, those units are considered eliminated. Meanwhile, they have to destroy, if they want that tactical victory, they have to destroy at least 20 German units. So in this setup right here, if I if the Russians just go down this left side over here, I don't think there's enough German units over here. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's not enough German units on this side to get anything more than a marginal victory. So, and then it would all depend on the number of units that the Germans would be able to destroy. And that could be more than 10 or 20. So, the Russians have to pretty much wipe out all these units. The Russians still, while they're trying to cross the map boards, have to take out German units. And there ain't many German units on this side right here. All right. So it's going to be an, going to be a very, very interesting scenario. All right. So that's the situation. I'm going to start the game. I just got to make sure the time track is on turn one. Nope. Yep. And then Russians move first. Well, let's move out. I just want to double check where they enter from. All right, here we go. First group, we got some guard units and a half track. Yep, right there. And those guard units are going to be on that armored unit. And we'll stack these guys together and they're going to drive. So I think the maximum I can go with this combination is nine. Half hexes are in play, so. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see, we're already on the middle board. How about that? All right, I'm going to pause while I stack these units right here. Oh, I'll just stack as I go. So it's a half track, garage unit, and an engineer unit. And the engineers are going to be in the back of that vehicle. And the maximum this guys can go are seven. And let's hit the road. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to stop there, seven, and over here I got half track, and again the maximum these can go is nine, So I'm going to put these right behind them. And the next group. And once again, these guys can go seven. And we got stack and move them right, right, right there.
to 11. But unfortunately, we got trucks, so trucks will limit that. But I want them to stay together, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10, 11. Perfect. Do I think this scenario is going to turn out? How do I think this scenario is going to turn out? I think the Russians will win, and they might even get a decisive victory here. But we'll see. Because time, Russians do have a time factor here. And that time factor is important. If I can move all loops, there we go. And if you haven't checked out my MBT, I do uh, playing MBT scenarios. I've already introduced all the rules, basic and advanced rules. On my so you can watch that. I'm going to be starting the second. I'm, my plan is to go through all the MBT modules and all the Panzer scenarios it's easy first turn anyways everybody's just heading on the board <coughs> excuse me Up there Check. Driving on the board, driving on the board. Here we go now, driving on the board. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, okay, so these are all going to be trucks. So I can alter. I don't have to back everybody up if I don't want to. And it's probably wise not to back everybody up. See, the river's a pain in the butt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oops. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, you can get right there. And then the Germans will react to this. The Germans will immediately start moving units to the left. Now, I really, if I were wise, I would probably have some units trying to make it down the right side just to distract. How many units can I get on the right side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. And start them down the right side just to distract the Germans a little bit, but I don't think it would have to be a major force. I don't think that would be wise. So I'm gonna just punch everybody up. Hopefully they make it through. And it's it's like the Wargamer's Guide to Panzer Blitz said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, almost there. The Russians have to unload to fight. That's not a good thing because the Russians are severely limited. All right, so that's the Russian phase. Now we're going to go on to the German phase, and the Germans are going to be reacting now. <laughs> it's interesting though, is you have a you have the road network where 
the Russians can move to the left or the right, north and south, and move their point of attack if the Germans move too quickly. But some units, like these infantry units, I'm going to start moving them immediately. Uh, I know he doesn't have six one two. No, it doesn't have last night. Uh, okay, right here. Horse-drawn carriage with the engineers, but I'd like to keep the engineers in the city though. I have two mortars over here. Well. There's a lot more strategy in this game than you would think, right? I can pull out. I'm going to load up those engineers. And I think I can pull out some of these units from the center here. Like maybe this one. Pull out that. So that's going to load. So I'm pulling out weakening defenses in the center. Now the Russians could shift, but I think I have a strong enough defense there that I can pull out some units if I want to. That's going to have a long trip, so I better get them started. How about this unit? I'll move them down there, move them down there, I'm going to move him back, I'm going to move him down there, move him back there, move him down there. And the Russians at this point have a little bit, they do still have a little bit of flexibility. But not much, because they're, they're, it's a time factor. But the Russians could use that road to redirect where they're attacking from. That's the thing. So the Germans can't really throw all in yet. I would say by the end of turn two, the Germans can throw all in and defending the left. Like I could send couple units to the right I'm not going to overthink it <laughs> so I don't think I need two of these I think there's still enough in the center area I don't want pack up that armor unit just yet I think there's enough of a defense in the center area I could possibly move them forward. I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna load them up and move them forward. It's more of a position where they're ready if the Russians do try to shift toward the center, they'll be able to react to that. It's tempting just to take this road. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. It's tempting to do that right there. And I can get some units up on that hill and they could start striking forward. But we'll see. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do for the German movement. It's kind of a conservative position. I want to load up that. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to load up that, that anti-armor gun right there. Which means that heavy mortar unit's frozen in place for the time being. All right, so we've been doing this only for 20 minutes. Wow. All right, so let's take a look. I'm going to pause for a second.